All right, this leads up to the final part of this video. And since to celebrate of the one year anniversary of the, my favorite film um all time in on my in my recent memory, I just like to tell me a little bit different that you shouldn't do any ending stuff. So I wanted to know my dear friend Jidia Had Kubai was from New Zealand. He he who's a fan was a fan of this film, Midsummer, as well as an as for his favorite last year last film Hereditary. I decided something doing a different like they did. Now this is fan of and fake because it was fixture stuff things we're talking about. But I'm gonna tell you I have a did. Now I have an idea, so I were placing so in the custom print of this movie um, in the all side ends discussion print, the sun end with an, an end credits, the song called The Sun Any The Sun Ain't Gonna Shine Anymore by Frank Vanny. Vanny. I know what last name is pronounced it. Anyway, I pretty know this song that I even no one remember that song before, but mostly grandparents, I guess. But that the end of Pearl, like that song, even though it become called Falling at the success at the success of this film of Miss Summer, uh, I, just, I decided something decided to spice it up. So in the cousin print, the the song the sun ain't gonna shine anymore was a place with Hala Gasigiden by Aran. because that's what Miss Summer's all about. So this this song is pretty much that um, the movie was pretty much the see, a custom audience to move, listen to Arabic Arabic song and most of people heard in Telemi Mai by Amal Diab but Halaka Sigidan was a better Arab songs were in the in of an album of the same name and that's pretty much and more more to point the song was pretty in the was a marriage of the music arrangement Ahmed Ibrahim who who got married but he divorced only last one year and he got divorced a year later. So that's a short break marriage for me. Anyway, and the song is pretty not the Halakas again then was Arabic and was a was a Miss Summer tradition song, so I decide, you know what, why not? And in fact this this movie was distributed in a custom by uh, Esco Films, who mainly who this was a sub I have subsidiary division of LTV Custom Films was a was not only on producing I House films or indie films, also distributing from so like pictures, um, focus features from Universal Pictures, uh, ISC Films, Magoria Pictures, and and Miramax and other stuff, and Tetra Films, an I House film company was and also distributing mainstream films. Was mainly also distributing for Miramax, aforementioned Miramax was co distributed with LTB Castle Films, uh, A24, Neon, uh, Europa Corp, and uh, Apparent Notice Film, um, Film Nation Entertainment, and a lot of others. And, um, and Entertainment One too. Um, his own Tetra, and Entertainment One own Tetra also, and Inkmore too. And and then, and of course the Tetra distrib long time distribution partner since two thousand two and the and the parent company, Notice Film, who is many distrib Tetra distribute Notice Film since two thousand two at to, a uh, Egmont acquisition of, um Tetra Group and Tet and the film subsidiary film division Tetra Films. And and this and this probably notable is this to be many long for terror films for Centopia Division Production Company and also distribute sooner films like I said before it was pretty terrible but that and and the twenty and the new sooner movies was far better but and the other notice from films including Me Papa Madrid and. Uh, and an animated pirate movie was distributed by uh, 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 Tetra Family Kit Division, uh, Tetra Fa Kids and Family, was sublimated producing films from any for kids and to all, to all family, and that's very much it. So, 
And that's probably know that he a lot of he been this movie is pretty much the more politicized like you said the parts of in the movie was pretty much the most that the movie was pretty much the save the movie and and this will become the big success. It was got high school see I house film in the cast and was overtaken by Peter Falcon him I say. And they also won one of the high school see films in the cast until Joker came along three year, three months later. Any anyway and four months later I guess. Anyway, um I'm gonna I'm not upload on YouTube because for copyright reasons. So I'm gonna up I'm gonna upload this video with was a custom print of the last few minutes of areas to film Miss Summer was uh, available on Google Drive. So click the link in the description and I really love and I pretty sure this movie is many more of my favorite art house films in all time. And I might be doing another thing uh, another, another same thing like before was hereditary, but in the custom print. But uh, the song was placed with the Bay Mike, but that will upload tomorrow someday. So, anywho, that's pretty much it. Happy one year anniversary to one of my favorite films. Oh, uh, one second. One of my favorite films of all time. This is the the thing. The movie completely changed her life, and that the direction is great. I forgot to do something. The director was great. The cinematography was by um, what's it again? Oh, Palmi. Borkowski, this is key, yeah, is not know was from, yeah, his name was Polish, who knows, and the acting was great. Paternity in Florence Pugh and Jack Reno was great, and and I would say this movie is pretty much the co-production between Swedish and American. Like and last time he did co-production in between Swedish and American film was um, the wife with Glenn Close, Glenn Close, and that movie is pretty much the movie was pretty great, and it was from sweet in the in, in, set in sweet in Christmas, but and that was great. So if you haven't seen this movie yet, I really loved it. I give it ten out of ten for me, eight for me, and I, I really say that's this movie didn't define the horror genre. That isn't I house film, mostly in the I house filmmaking. And I would recommend to check it out. I and also I never have an other A twenty four film I I get it someday tomorrow maybe was in Fabric. Was it it came from UK but um I get it, I'm gonna go on Ink Gunton tomorrow but I'm I'm gonna get on DVD some days or who knows. So that's um that's another story. Anyway, um happy one year anniversary. I love the areas to you do a work from do for first two films a lot future length films, and I will do the next in the future. Who start and start of the production company by um, uh, her best her partner Lance Kuznen, who is from Danish, uh, producing who started a production company at her her previous production company shut down was known as Gropek, was producing more. In for more films, and in fact, he gonna be a, he producing a re remake of a Korean film, which maybe see before was might be produced on Neon someday, and um, and of course, and uh, and Eric Astor will be doing the next film, which will be Four Hour Nightmare Comedy, and this pretty much will be on like Four Beds or Mer or American Psycho or Heaven's one, you know, so. Happy one year anniversary to my to Miss Summer the twenty nineteen film and I will be doing some movie was pretty well and I may be uh, and Florence Pugh if you're watching this video you deserve the great acting and a real American accent mostly in people in in more in Britain in UK or in other stuff my all myself I'm a more English accent this pretty much. The more they define the acting career, and what did we become the new established uh, young actress to to the next next level? So I can't wait to see her. Oh, and the you know the well, and then came to see me as a little woman, and finally with my family. So that's what we know. I can't wait to see in a black widow someday in November. Anyway, I love you guys. Thank you for joining us. I love you, everyone. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. I love you guys, and remember, Halagasi Giden was our main cream. Take care, and bye-bye.